Okay, I got some thorium rock right here. As you can see, there's about one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of thorium rock. And we're gonna measure the radioactivity with our pancake probe. We're gonna be using the uh, Johnson HP265 paired with the uh, GSM 500 auto ranging survey meter. Beautiful unit. It is considered the gold standard of survey meters, so we're gonna see it in action. So we're gonna turn it on just to measure it background. Fully auto ranging. And we're gonna turn on the speaker. You hear the speaker. And there's the thorium rock. Here's the pancake. And let's hear some action. Okay, so we have it on measure, so it's auto ranging. You wanna see the auto ranging function? We're gonna go to zero. Look at the X10, auto ranging automatic. Automatic ranging. Let's get the rock a little closer. All right, there we go. 2,000 counts. Now I'm going to go to peak hold and it's going to hold the highest reading. So I'm going to go one, two, peak hold, and it's going to stop the needle at the highest reading. So we'll see. Twenty-five hundred, almost three thousand counts per minute of uh, beta. And it's holding at 2800. Let's measure gamma rays. So, gamma rays with the back of a pancake probe. Let's go with the back only with the back. Let's do a reset. And there we go. Gamma rays only. Twenty-five hundred counts per minute of gamma rays. That is one millirem. One millirem per hour, right there. A little bit over one millirem. Three twenty-nine hundred counts per minute of gamma. Right there, the back of the pancake. Thorium rock. Wow. 2,900 counts. See if we can get 3,000 counts. 3,000. Depends on how I move the jar or the probe. Nope. Looks like 2,800 is going to be the max for gamma rays. There it is. Can get it to 3,000, but there's probably more. This is the uh, Johnson WB Johnson GSM 500 survey meter with the pancake HP 265 measuring thorium thorium rock. Hope you enjoy the video.